The Lakers, the Clippers, and the Dallas Mavericks are expected to be the strongest suitors for Big Daddy Clay Thompson himself. Yes, that's the rumor we're hearing, ladies and gentlemen. Clay Thompson himself is looking at Dallas Clippers, Lakers. If I'm Clay, I said this earlier. We've heard that multiple other teams with cast face, allegedly Orlando, probably throw in San Antonio in there. I'm going to a no income state tax. I got four rings. I got four rings on my hand at this point. Let me go get that bag. If I want another ring, we'll do it after I get this bag. Let's go to a no income stack, you know, no income tax state. And then let's get as much money. I've lived in California for a majority of my career. I've only seen a third of the money. Two thirds of that money probably went to state income tax. And the report coming from The Athletic is that, yes, Clay Thompson is expected to leave the Warriors in free agency. Clippers, Mavs, and Lakers are interested. The Golden State, we've also heard that supposedly if it is to the Clippers, could be a sign and trade for Paul George. Now, the Warriors are prepared to lose Clay Thompson in free agency. Both sides are operating on the assumption that Thompson will end up with another team this offseason. While the Warriors had hoped to circle back to Thompson with a contract offer after they pursued other trade options. He isn't expected to be waiting for them. Thompson is determined to find a new team and a big old pile of cash to go with it. And Thompson, the Warriors have had nearly no communication since the negotiation period opened nearly two weeks ago without an offer being president or presented. The Lakers, the Clippers, the Dallas Mavericks are all expected to be among the teams to pursue Thompson. The Mavericks have enough space to offer Thompson the full mid-level exception, which would be $13 million, just under $13 million a year, kind of like a three or $40 million deals, while the Lakers can also do so if LeBron James takes less than the max, which would be $33 million. He, Rich Paul went on record expressing LeBron James' willingness to take less than the max if they could sign an impact player or players for the mid-level exception. The Warriors are open to participating in a signing trade scenario to help Thompson get the type of contract he wants from a team of his choosing. Thompson is represented by Greg Lawrence is coming off of a five year, $190 million contract that he agreed upon following his ACL tear in game six of the NBA finals in 77 games last year. He averaged 17.9, just under 18 points a game, three and a half rebounds and two and a half assists while shooting 38.7% from the field. Now, I think the Lakers and Dallas Mavericks, basically they alluded that if that deal was to go through, it would be because they're hoping to be able to add a guy like him via, I guess, the mid-level exception. So the only trade that could possibly happen is seemingly if the, the Clippers want to do it. And... I think that if that deal is going to be the one that they do, I think let's go ahead and pull up our favorite thing to do, and that is the Fanspo trade machine, ladies and gentlemen. We are pulling it up right here. So if you guys have been on the channel before, we do like to pull up the Fanspo trade machine because, in my opinion, I think it does a great job of kind of I think demonstrating what a potential trade could look like. So with that being said, let's go ahead and pull up the Clippers and Warriors. That's the only trade that we're seeing. I don't see another. I mean, we'll, we'll play around with a little bit of other ones just to do it. And it's a signing trade. So basically, if it's a signing trade, we're assuming. Okay, this is where modify. Standard contract. We're assuming it's a three year because he's 34. I guess it's a four year deal because he would want a four year deal. And I'd have to assume you're doing 20. I think 20 a year is really good for him. It's more than the mid level exception. Four year 81, would that be, or does he want 25? I feel like he would want one last $100 million contract. And that's where we're going to go with this. He's going to get one last $100 million contract. But how about we do it that this year they give him 35. Next year they give him 30. The following year they give him 25. 
And what would this look like? This would be a $111 million contract. Okay, what if the last two years we take off 25? All right, that brings it there. And then we'll do 17 and we'll do we'll do three right here which brings us to okay we'll do two i guess here's making me feel bad two all right a hundred and a hundred point five four years first year of the deals of 35 is a descending contract so it's front loaded 35 then 25 then 22 and then 17 i kind of like that it's a nice little deal so that means they can take actually more money back in this they can only send clay thompson in the deal so this means they can take back 17.65 in salary from the clippers so if i'm the warriors terrence mann is the first guy i'm looking at next guy i'm looking at i oh man this is where i'd hope i'd hope i'd hope i'd hope I don't I think you gotta go Kobe Brown and do you do a mere coffee or do you do Bones Highland? Um I think Bones Highland just because of the youth. And at this moment you're sending 18, which if we wanted just to modify the contract just to allow us to get it through there i guess you could say there you go 16 and this would allow us to yeah 18.1 so would this be too much no picks involved nothing and why is this not allowed to be happening as oh the clippers would have to cut 16 million but a just trade a just trade paul george modify contract decline save he's gone oh wait what yeah because like you wouldn't be doing a paul george deal because paul george would have opted in and even there they would have to cut 11 million dollars in this deal that being said this would have to then be opened up to a third team i would have to assume and you'd call it the detroit pistons is from my what i'm gathering and you tell Detroit, how does PJ Tucker sound? And you send him to the Pistons. And in this deal, I guess, because I'm pretty sure you can attach picks. So we'll say Pistons get a second round pick from the Warriors in this deal. And that's just how the deal ends. Yeah, there you go. That's how the deal would have to look. PJ Tucker. And let's just say somebody gives a second round pick to the Pistons for taking that end and they just buy him out. Paul George goes, is going into free agency. Clay Thompson, sign and trade, four year, $101.5 million deal. First year, 36, second year, 25, you know, that stuff. Warriors walk away with Terrence Man, Bones, Highland, Kobe Brown. I feel like it's an overpay, but it's an interesting one. 